What's going on, Stone Nation? I'm here with the one and only Paul Pritz, and today we're gonna to show you how to properly torque the Agile suspension. We're gonna show them which bolts to tighten. Yes. So Wait. where they're located, and then the proper torque specs from Storyteller. Yes. Okay. Let's get started. Let's do it. Um, so what I have here, we're gonna torque the U-bolts with. Uh, it's a half inch uh, torque wrench. Um, if you haven't used a torque wrench before, I'm sure there's some YouTube videos you can watch online to figure it out. Um, we've got a set of half inch metric sockets and uh, probably a good idea is to have a couple of different extensions. And you know, what I have here is three inch and a 12 inch extension. So um, that is all we're gonna need to do the rear U-bolts, super easy. Right, so what I have here is a 19 millimeter socket um, and these are, this is the U-bolt here, and it gets its name from looking uh, in the shape of a U. It actually goes up and over the top of the leaf spring pack. Uh, so there's four bolts, two here and two back here. Um, these two are part of the same U-bolt, and you're going to want to tighten those equally. So, uh, you know, you half a turn, half a turn, or a full turn, full turn, you don't want to tighten just one and not the other until you reach that torque spec. Um, if one clicks, always check the other one. Uh, sometimes you'll get a little movement side to side. Okay, we checked the, uh, the Beast user manual. The Beast user manual says 130 foot-pounds of torque for these U-bolts. So we have this set at 130 foot-pounds right there. Okay. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and... Okay, so that is, that is tight right there. Do the same thing on this one, tight. So that's what you're looking for is that clicking sound. We're gonna to move to the front side of the U-bolt. So that one's perfect, no adjustment needed there. We'll check the other side really quick. No adjustment needed. So this side was in good shape, looking good there. We're going to move to the other side. And again, you want to do front and rear. Oh, we are getting a little movement out of this one. Not much though. <laughs> I don't have very good leverage here. We'll do this one. We got a little bit of movement out of that, but not much. Again, just a slight bit of movement. That one's good. All right, so those are, those are good. There's no adjustment needed. We are 75 foot pounds. And what adjustment is this called again? This is for the lower shock bolt. Here. So what you're gonna wanna do is have a wrench on the other side. You may need a friend or a helper, um, especially if this lower shock mount, uh, and if the wrench doesn't work, you may wanna use a longer breaker bar with a socket on this side to hold it together while you're torquing this one, um, because this is very difficult to do with a smaller wrench. That's it. Um, we have the front strut that we're going to check, and we're going to check the uh, we're going to check the top bolt for the uh, rear shock as well. So, getting to these is tricky sometimes, which is where the extensions come in handy. And so what we'll do is we'll work on this inside the wheel well. Now this guy has to be 
95 foot-pounds, according to the Beast Manual. 95. Let's see if we can get this one on here. We may have to use the shorter extension. So that's good. No adjustment needed. We'll check the other side really quick. Wait, hang on, sorry. Oh, you're good. There, okay, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna need to get over there to get leverage. Yep. Good. That's it. So the rear's done. So we'll move on to the front now. Okay, so one thing I want to address really quickly is on the front struts. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is just checking the torque specs on it to make sure that it meets that 120 Newton meters. Um, if you don't have a Newton meter torque wrench, you can do a Newton meter to foot pounds conversion. It's very simple, just use Google or whatever. And um, again, we're not doing the 120 degrees. The additional 120 degrees rotation on the nut, we're just checking to ensure that it's secure and tight. Um, that's all we're going to be doing today. That's the upper shock bolt or the upper strut bolt and you can get access around the brake caliper. Um, you're supposed to also tighten that lower nut down there here but it's very difficult to get to. So I've been checking the other side on my van. So we'll just check this side really quickly. Good. You got nothing loose here. 